everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Now, you're probably wondering where my Elite Series 92 reviews are. And Brad, I can tell you right now, the reason is because it didn't show up yesterday. I expected my Elite 92 and my AEW Unrivaled Series number 8 to show up. Neither of those showed up. So today, I figured we could throw together a nice little surgery for you guys. Get that Rey Mysterio fix up that I really want to try out of the way. I have a few more creative ideas that I want to get into. It should be really awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys these fix-ups, but hopefully today my Elite Series 92 will show up. Maybe my AEW Unrivaled Series 8, and then we can knock out those reviews, and then we will have an even bigger episode of Surgery where we showcase all those fix-ups and things that we're going to get. So those should be really epic. I can't wait to review those series for you guys and check those out, but let me know down below which figures you'd like to see first. But let's get into this surgery, man. It should be really exciting. You guys know that Dr. Whitekiss is back in the house, and I'm excited to get into it, man. So starting out with our Rey Mysterio, as you guys can see, we have a lot of characters is very similar today and I'm gonna try something out that some people recommended to me that I do not know how it's gonna turn out it may be completely butchered we're gonna see how it goes and test the waters on it but hopefully it all works out man you guys can see we have Rey Mysterio right here what we're gonna do with this guy is we're basically just gonna switch his hands back I really would like to put some double jointed arms on this guy but since we do not have more than one pair on that top picks over there we got to get more of that top picks Rey Mysterio I know the Elite 92 is coming in he's a bit similar he's got some orange and black going on we're gonna get into him as well but I do want to fix this guy's hands and I think it'll make him you know not necessarily look better I wanted to get some more white hands to match this like silver color over here because I feel like the black is kind of I don't know it's kind of standoffish right it's a little bit like why, why is it there I know it matches the eye patch you got the wristbands you got like some black on the outsoles of the boots but it's just not my favorite so we'll, we'll see about that I don't know I may play around with it and see what comes of it but at the end of the day that is what we're going to do right now and we'll see what comes of it I might even have another fix up for that one but moving on guys we also have this one and I'm actually really just I'm psyched to do this one but I'm also afraid because I don't know how it's going to turn out but it has low risk honestly because we do have this Bret Hart here so this is the brand new double jointed arm Bret Hart I don't know if you guys are seeing where I'm going with this but my friend Steinsenberg Cody he is a beast and he put these arms of this Bret Hart onto this Seth Rollins now I think he cracked the torso and put these shoulders and arms into the Seth Rollins to get the pink and black wrist tape on there but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the arms of both guys and then I'm going to try and like exacto knife the peg from the Seth Rollins shoulder like just like exacto knife it a little bit see if I can get it the shape of the peg that's on this shoulder to try and match it and then see if these arms will slide onto the Seth Rollins it could be an epic failure it may just fall flat on its face but I think I want to attempt it man I want to give it a shot see what we got going on there it may work out it may not we'll have to find out together here and I think it last surgery we did really well up until the end and then we fell on our faces so hopefully we will do the opposite today hopefully that'll work out i'm gonna try it we're gonna try and mimic that and see if we can get these pink and black wrist tape the pinks don't match up perfectly but since this is a fantasy gear this is like you know the one that i you know i rubbed off all the question marks off the gear and i was just gonna freelance this gear and kind of make it like its own seth rollins no monday night messiah just kind of its own deal hopefully that all turns out but we'll see we'll find out together here today and that one should be pretty fun moving on along we do have some rock fix-ups you guys are gonna see that we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of play around with this i'm gonna mix kind of all three of these rocks together we have the new top picks rock over here i wanted to include all the top picks so not only the rock and Rey mysterio as you guys can see in the back but i also wanted to include the undertaker i couldn't really think of a fix up i had two of the elite 85 undertaker and i do have the top picks now but i couldn't really think of anything creative at the moment we do have a ton of undertaker figures to play around with but you know the way i feel like his head sculpt's a little bit oversized it's not the the most fun figure to kind of fix up with i'll have to go back and watch my fix-up videos and see if I thought of anything back in the day. Maybe cut the jacket off or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to play around with that, but I didn't want to get into, into anything with The Undertaker today, but we do have three rocks right here. We're going to put one of them in street gear. We're going to pop some head swaps and, and show you guys what we're going to do with those. So if you guys want to try any of these for yourselves and we will show those off in just a moment. And then last but not least, here's all the street gear and stuff. And last but not least, we have the fix-up that I am just so freaking excited for. And we're going to save that one for last because I think it's going to be the best one of the day. My X-Acto knife is rolling around and I'm about to have a conniption, but here we go. We're going to combine these two figures. Now, I'm going to say I am going to have to order another Elite 72 Ray because I love it. I love the white gloves. I love the black and white striped boots right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these black and white striped boots over onto this pink Ray Mysterio to match the sides of the tights, and we're going to put the white gloves into the black gloves to tie all the white, black, and pink all together. So you're going to get a perfect balance of all three colors all throughout the Ray, and it should be insane 
insane. So that is something I'm really excited about. And it'll kind of like create a cool new gear for the, the Elite 72 over here when we swap the hands and the legs back and forth. So that will be fun, but got to get more Ray. It's kind of like Jeff Hardy. Ray Mysterio is a lot like Jeff Hardy where you kind of switch around some parts, you play around with it, and you can create some really crazy, really fun fix-ups to change up your collection a little bit there. So that is what we're going to try to do, man. So with all that being said, let's shut the hell up and dive into WWE Action Figure Surgery episode, what is it, 71, 72? I don't know. So for our first order of business, I feel like the rocks could probably go first. I feel like that would probably be the best. We do have the white trusty hair dryer in, in the house for today's fix-ups, but actually I do not think we have to worry about the white trusty hair dryer for our rock figures, and I'm going to showcase that right now. So with our first rock, I want to put this head sculpt over here. So I think just a, a, a just straight up head swap for these guys would look really cool. And then we're going to put some street gear over here. And what you'll notice is the top picks rocks head is interchangeable because of the new technology. It's not really new technology. They're just kind of way behind. But this is the two pack rock and sock connection head sculpt. And it is also removable just like the top picks. So no heat required. How beautiful is that? So I wanted to pop this onto here, see what this looked like. Now I couldn't recall if the rock had the, oh, uh, look at that. That's kind of, I mean, it's not like terrible, but it's, it is a little loose, but it sits on there nice. But I don't know if this haircut matches the arrow that he wore this gear. I couldn't find exact imagery. So we'll see about that. I am going to throw him over here. And then I wanted to see what this looked like on the defining moments, because this looks very similar to the defining moments head sculpt, except it has true effects. And that looks pretty good as well. We'll, we'll take a closer look at the rocks at the end there, but that is just a quick little fix up I wanted to try. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some gear on. See, I have like a hundred million of this Elite 47.5 rock. So that is why I wanted to just go ahead and attempt to see if we could uh, make some different fix-ups here because the rock has a ton of different looks, as you guys know, different jackets, jerseys, and stuff. And fun fact, I tried to find an image of the rock wearing the jersey that they gave us with this figure. Couldn't find one. I could not find one. I found him wearing the black and blue version, but I could not find a single photo of him wearing the black and red jersey that we got with the top picks wave. So I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know if he ever wore that truly on WWE television. If he didn't, that would be very shameful. But at the same time, they do that with John Cena all the time, which is a video that I'd like to make where I explain my biggest pet peeves about WWE figure collecting and just collecting in general and things that just get on my last nerve that we get from these figure companies sometimes. But I don't know. Maybe that's another thing for another day. However, these striped pants look really good. All right, so we got these striped pants on here. I think I got these from a fan like years ago. So a huge shout out to that fan for sending me this. But we are going to undo the Velcro here. Another thing I'd love to see from The Rock is I'd love a white team just bring it sleeveless shirt. Rock Elite with the track pants, white trainer shoes, and then some glasses, man. That would be, that'd be sick as hell. That's kind of like my dream rock figure at this moment, but this should make for a pretty cool fix up. You know, I have a bunch of these rocks here, so this kind of, you know, this guy gives us a different look here. So there's that rock, and then we can put the sunglasses on him, and then we'll take a closer look at him at the end. He should fit really nicely up there on the rock shelf, but there is that rock, and we will come back to him. So we have three rock fix ups in this video already, which is beautiful to see. Next up on the list, we have this Rey Mysterio. Now, this is one of those rare cases cases where we go back and forth with our Ray because this is how he originally started in one of our videos and I didn't really like it. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of like Ink Master. You know, you go in there for a great tattoo, doesn't all work out well, and then you have to go back in there, cuss the tattoo artist out, and get a brand new tattoo. So that's what I'm doing here for Ray Mysterio here today. Uh, I apologize, Mr. Mysterio. thought the AJ Styles gloves would look good on you. I ended up failing you, so now we have your black gloves back. And just see how weird he looks. You'll get a different angle later on, but he just looks like, I just don't think these gloves flow well with this attire whatsoever it just looks odd to me i don't know you guys can be the judge but aj styles gloves off the ray now he can go do whatever the hell he wants now we're i think uh, what do i want to do next i think i want to attempt the seth rollins next because i'm very interested to see how this is going to go but you guys know the rules of the fix-ups here what we want to do is i guess we could actually in this removable no it's one of the it's just one of those deals where it just it wasn't that's not how it was for this wave even though we just got that wave behind this wave but we're going to take the shirt off so we don't damage it. We're also going to remove the elbow pads so we don't damage those. You guys know how it is here. I would really like to see some muscular shoulders like we see on the Bobby Lashley and the Drew McIntyre and stuff like that. I'd like to see that on the Elite 93 Rollins. So hopefully that'll be the case. I don't think we've gotten some detailed images yet of that figure. But there is our elbow pad. These elbow pads are actually really nice. I like the white outline. But there is that. And now we're going to, I guess, put these up like so. Like that. And then we're going to turn 
this up like this. I hope this works out, man. I really don't want to fail miserably, so. Get the white trusty hair dryer, and then we're gonna give it an attempt. All right, guys, hopefully that is long enough, and we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and get Rollins in position here. One arm pops off, the other arm pops off. So what I'm thinking is cut these to the same shape as these shoulders. So hopefully this will be plausible and hopefully we can uh, take care of this. All right, so I, I just wanna attempt it. Let's just see if it'll just go on here. I don't think it will. I think we're gonna run into just a little bit of an issue there. So you guys can see there, there is a little bit of a gap. I do not want that gap, man. I really want to take care of this, make it, you know, get it on there as good as humanly possible. And it's close, it's very close, so I don't think it's gonna require like a whole ton of work here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it on camera. I'll cut it to shape, but I'm not going to, let's see if these arms will go on this Bret Hart though. Let's just see what comes of this. All right, so putting these arms onto the Bret Hart isn't like horrific. That's actually, uh, that's actually plausible. That's not even a thing. So I do want to leave one arm off though so I can really replicate that shape because I, you know, I just want to nail that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the time while the camera charges. I'm going to try my best to match these shapes up right here. So let's go ahead and take a little zoom. So yeah, so we're going to, to attempt to uh, kind of match that shape right there. And it looks like you just got to cut the tip off. I don't like that. All right, guys, so we're just going to come back to that. I want you guys to see the final result at the end of the day and we'll showcase everything. Did it work out or did it not? Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out but now we are moving on to probably my favorite fix up of the day and it's going to be this epic ass Rey Mysterio bro it's going to be insane I can't wait to do it let's uh let's switch the boots first I think let's go ahead and switch the boots first I think that is our way to go so it'll be really relatively short and quick all we got to do is take the white trusty hair dryer heat this up for a little bit and it should be good to go shouldn't even be that long Alright ladies and gentlemen, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and pop these boots off. Oh my lord god! Jesus Christ, why is that so difficult to do? It should just, you know, just quickly, firmly grasp it and pop right off, but it is not doing so. It's like the lower part of the boot got heated up more than the upper part of the boot, but we did get it off right there. Now we gotta transition over here, get this one off, and then last but not least should be the... Oh my lord, okay. Going over here. Jesus, why? Ugh. All right, got that over here. Ugh. And hopefully you guys can already just see the epicness. I can already see the epicness taking place, and it is nice to see. Dr. Whitekiss knows what he's doing sometimes. Jesus, Lord, and... Ugh. All right, now all we gotta do, switch these hands, and I honestly feel like the hands don't even, like, it's... It, it'll make it nicer, but I don't even think... If you wanted to do this swap without even switching the hands, it would still be really, really nice, I think. So here's the one white glove over on the top picks figure. So I'll pop that in there, and then we have the double black over here, and then popping that in there, and then the other side real quick, taking that hand out, taking this hand out, and then it looks like the white peg is a little bit longer than the black peg over there, and then putting the wrist gauntlet back on here, I think it goes this way, I believe, and then popping that in there. Nice. All right, man. Well, that wraps up everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've done. All right, guys. So taking a look at everything we've done here today on Action Figure Surgery. Really successful day, man. I mean, at the end of the day, I think everything turned out great. I know you guys wanted to know what Rollins turned out like, and look at it. I mean, I think we have accomplished what we want to accomplish, man. It it really works. I think that it works. I'm not, you know, I can pull it. It's not going to come off. It, it if any gappage, like maybe microscopic gappage. But at the end of the day, we have a double jointed Rollins now. I mean, what like that's way easier to me, and I'll probably get better at, better at it as we go on. But that's way easier to me, just chopping off that little bit of a peg than cracking the torso, having to get the super glue out, having to heat it up with water, having to crack it with a screwdriver, and make sure we don't put too much separation in it where it doesn't go back together. This is pretty clean, man. I like it a lot. I think it's sick as hell. Love how the pink and black ties together. Really nice fantasy gear. Now we've upgraded our Rollins. I think it turned out perfect. I, I don't have any issues with that one right there. We we have the rock and street gear very sweet as well jogging pants with the jersey and the sunglasses another rock that'll go up on the shelf really nice and i love the way the stripes interact with each other the black on black looks clean looks like something rock would wear as rollins goes down 
Here is the beautiful Rey Mysterio fix-up. Look at me in my face. Tell me that's not beautiful. Look at the white gloves tying in here, tying into the white and the black and the pink all together. You got that same stripe pattern going down the sides, into the gloves in here. You got that same pattern on the boots. This is immaculate. I love this. It may not be what he actually wore. It may not be, you know, accurate to what he actually wore on TV or at the event. But uh, this looks much better than the other way around, man. It's clean as hell. I love this. This is so sick. This is probably my favorite Ray fix-up now that we have. And then here is the Elite 72. It's kind of cool because it's created like this all-black gear sort of for, for the Elite 72 Ray. But the, both of these turned out fantastic. This one is beautiful, man. Just just it couldn't be happier with that one. We also have this rock here with the two-pack head on there. I think it worked out pretty good. I don't know. You guys can let me know what head sculpt you like better for the figures. But I did want to switch it up just a little bit, see what these look like. I, you know, this figure is so old that, like, the legs are so stiff. Like, look at this, dude. It won't even stay in position. I mean, this figure feels like it could snap at any time. I need to get the freaking court, you know, get that crotch cracked and replace that with ball joints or something to fix that. But we also have Bret Hart over here. I just put the Seth Rollins arms on there with the black wrist tape. Now it looks just like the old Bret Hart, you know? There's no difference, really, between that one and the old best of pay-per-view. And then we have the Rey Mysterio with the black gloves. But I thought it was a very successful day. Uh, all the fix-ups that I was really excited for and looking forward to the most turned out the best, I think. You know, the Seth Rollins, the Rey Mysterio, are probably my two favorite. If I had to pick my favorite fix-up of the day, I think I would go with the Rey Mysterio. I think, yeah, the black and white, you know, on the pants tying into the boots with the white gloves. It's very clean. It worked out perfect, but I am super stoked that the double jointed arm technique worked here for the Seth Rollins, but that is going to wrap up surgery, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like, I don't know, Mattel for not giving us double jointed arms that work automatically on those old pegs. Yeah. You cross the line.